A log of wood can stay in the water as long as it wants, but it can never turn into a turtle. It's easy to start a university, it's easy to start a school, it's easy to start a college just with your mouth. Just this week, I heard that our president was in Northern Ghana and he created two new universities with his mouth. And the next day, I read again that all the people were so happy because mm. people in Upper West said we now have our own university, and other group said we will also have our own university. But what the president says, what each university is going to do, the one that I remember was that this university is going to focus on applied science and technology. technology. And I, was, I said, does, he, does this guy know what he's talking about? And I'm saying this quite seriously, mm -hmm. because most of these guys are lawyers. They have no idea. Yeah. They think, once you say it's a university, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, taken yeah, care yeah. of. And then he said that uh, uh, he hopes that the faculty will do all they can to make things happen that need to be happening. <laughs> so people don't understand what engineers do. Yeah, yeah. They don't. They really don't. I mean, I've talked to some of the former vice chancellors of this place. They are completely ignorant. There has never been an engineer as by chance like you. That's right. As there has never been a woman. You better hurry up. As by chance like you. <laughs> These books are given by people who have never gone to the University of Ghana. Yeah. They didn't go to tech. They didn't go to UCC. Okay. Uh, but as I was explaining to one of my brothers, they will die very soon. They know that when you die, you can't take it with you. So they are afraid that they will hit St. Peter. And they say, I'm coming to heaven. And they say, what do you do with your life? Like? <laughs> and then they say, oh, I made three babies. They will say, everybody makes babies. So what's, what does this mean? What do you do for Ghana? So, oh, Ghana, I have abandoned Ghana. I mean, Ghana, they cost me so much trouble. And St. Peter will say, you see that ladder? Go back. <laughs> Go back. So they are all very nervous now. They, want, they know they can't take it. You know? So uh, there are four people. Each of them gave me $1,000. And they say that we want them. <laughs> I, I, I warned them that I will learn from the previous Ghanaian. At the airport, I will call them. And they say, oh, I got robbed. Right. The $4,000. Right. Right. <laughs> send more, send more. <laughs> and some of you have met my brother, Ebo Richardson. Yeah. Yeah. He's, very, he's very bombastic, you know. Yeah. And he warned me, that if I touch the money, I will die. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, I'm, we are very happy to do this, and uh, uh, there are many, many troubles that they see. I also see about Ghana, okay? mm -hmm. but we also realize that everybody knows their problems in Ghana. Corruption, yeah. all the politicians, yeah. are, politicians are thieves, mm -hmm. and, and so, so what? What are we going to do ourselves? Mm -hmm. And I think that even if the university does not give money for this school, mm -hmm. there's a lot they can do. Yeah. Already, the school is more than 10 years old. If you just choose one department, like a computer, uh, let's say biomedical engineering, let's say on the average they produce 10 students. And let's suppose the university, the school is only 10 years, but that's 100 students. It seems to me that people are willing to give. We don't know how to ask. Maybe they can raise 10,000 cities to start a small scholarship for women to do MPhil. When yeah. my friend Elsie took me to a class, I almost walked out. Mm. Four, five boys. Enfield. I said, Elsie, you're a woman. Why are the women here? I don't talk to only men. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't talk to only men. And Elsie gave me some book of stories. Said, well, yeah, yeah. You know. But one of the things I learned from her was that somebody, woman was offered a position and she didn't take it. Yeah. So I asked my friend Elsie, I said, why, why, uh, why didn't she take it? And she didn't quite know. Mm. And I said, you know, part of what a school needs to do mm, yes. is to find out. Our job is to make friends for the next generation. That's what they forgot to do at Tech. And the students beat the lecturers. Mm. I hope they will come here and beat us also. <laughs> <laughs> to knock sense into us. <laughs> so anyway, you are very busy, man. Yeah, and yeah. They, they didn't have warned me already. So <laughs> I thank you for coming yeah. to uh, honor us. And mm. uh, every time I talk to a vice provost, I mean, for approval, they run away to become a uh, vice chancellor. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe he will not be vice chancellor at Lebanon because the Wusu is still young. But uh, maybe all the universities that are present just open. <laughs> You know.